We are going to learn more about linear equations. We are going to look at point-slope formula. So this is a formula that is in your formula chart. So during test, you will have this formula chart. So we have standard form. We have slope-intercept form. We have point-slope form. And we have slope of a line. So this is titled with linear equations. These are all of the, the ways that we um, represent linear functions. So we are going to look at point-slope form. Slope-intercept form is one that we've been using this whole time. The number in front of x is our slope. And then the b value, whatever sign that is, the sign goes with it is our y-intercept. So this one is easy to graph because we would graph our y-intercept and then do rise of a run for our slope. Point-slope form is used whenever you have a point. The point is going to be an x1 comma y1. And the slope is the M. On Friday we graphed with a point and a slope. Well today we're going to write the equation of a line with a point and a slope. So it's a formula where we just input values and then we'll simplify it. So the values that we are going to input are the X1, Y1, and the M. So you can underline those or you can highlight those or use a marker. Notice that the minuses are part of the formula. So if x1 and y1 are positive, whenever you plug them in, the formula is still going to have a minus. But if the x1 and or the y1 is negative, it's going to change from a negative to a positive. All right, we just have a couple of examples. We are going to write the equation on the line that has a slope of negative 2 and goes through point 1, 4. So let's write the formula down. Y minus Y1 equals M, parentheses, X minus X1. So you write the formula down first, and then we write what is being, what has been given. So a slope of negative 2. That means that m equals negative 2. And then it goes through point 1, 4. So we're at 1, 4. We're going to label x1 and y1. The first one is the x1 because it's a x comma y. So that's the 1 is x1, the 4 is y1. y1 is 4. So it's going to be y minus 4 equals the m is negative 2. So we're going to put in a negative 2 for m.
x minus x1 is 1. So we're going to put in a 1 there. So we have three different numbers that we're substituting. So we're going to only substitute m, x1, and y1. So see the ones that I highlighted? Everything else is just brought down. So this is point slope form. Point slope form. But I also want us to write it in slope-intercept form. So what we're going to have to do is like we did on Friday, the last lesson, where we're going to distribute and then move everything over so it says y equals mx plus b. So I'm just going to rewrite this and draw my line down my equal sign. What I want to do is solve for y because that's going to get us to have y equals mx plus b. So what we do is we distribute first. So where there's parentheses, whatever is outside the parentheses is going to be distributed. The whole negative 2. So we're going to do negative 2 times x, negative 2x, and then negative 2 times a negative 1 is a positive 2. Equals, so carry down the left side, y minus 4. And then we still need to get y by itself, so this minus 4 needs to go to the other side. So we need to add 4 to both sides, but you put it underneath the one that is like. So we're going to put it under the plus 2. I wouldn't put it under the x because it's not an x value. So plus 4 here. So it's y equals negative 2x plus 2 plus 4 is 6. So I kept everything the same, but I added the like terms, which was 2 and 4. So then y equals negative 2x plus 6 is my slope-intercept form. So we just wrote it two different ways. They're the same equation written two different ways. I'm going to put a box around this one too because I actually have two answers. One in point slope form, the other one in slope intercept form. We're just going to do one more example and then you're going to do five on your own. So we're only doing example one and two of this paper. Okay, let's look at example two. It says write an equation of a line that has a slope of three and goes through point negative two, negative five. Write your formula down. Y minus Y1 equals M, parentheses, X minus X1. Slope of 3, that means m equals 3. Goes through point, negative 2, comma, negative 5. So label your coordinates, x1, y1.
If highlighting and color coding helps you, do it. If it doesn't, don't do it. So we have y1 is negative 5. So that's going to go in the y1 spot. So this would be y minus a negative 5 equals. M is 3. So in the M spot, we're going to put a 3. And then X minus X1 is negative 2. Close parentheses. But I need to simplify it. Anywhere that you see a double negative, you're going to simplify. So if you want to put that out to the side, double negative changes to plus. Because you want this to be completely simplified. Double negative changes to a plus. Because you can't say a double negative in English either. can't say a double negative in math. So it changes. Like, I don't never eat pizza. That means I eat pizza all the time. Don't never is two negatives. So this is going to become y plus 5 equals 3 parentheses x. Here's another double negative plus 2. So this is my point slope form. That is one of my answers. Now I'm going to solve for y to get it in my slope intercept form. So I'm going to rewrite my point slope form and then distribute and move over everything from the y. So I'm just rewriting it and drawing my line down the equal sign. So you got to simplify first. So that means get rid of parentheses by distributing. We're going to distribute the 3. So it's going to be 3 times x. It's 3x. 3 times 2 is 6. I have y plus 5 equals... I need to get y by itself. What's keeping y from being by itself? Plus 5. So to get rid of it, do minus 5. y equals 3x. 6 minus 5 is 1. So this is the slope intercept form. I want you to keep this out and you're going to get on Canvas and under this week's lesson plan in the assignment it gives you a link for a Google form. You do have to show your work on this. There are five questions, but there are ten answers because this is an answer because it's written in point-slope form, and this is an answer, slope-intercept form. You do have to show your work on paper and turn that in to get credit for it.